I'm telling you, it's not about me. It's about scientifically proven. It's a star constellation. We're talking about this here in Brazil for a long time. It's obliged now in justice, in varas de família, to constellate your family and understand your backgrounds because you are a copy, baby. You are a copy of mom and dad. And either you say, I don't have patience for that. Who doesn't have patience? Your father or your mother? I'm nervous. Who's nervous? Your father or your mother? Because either you copy them, a good part or bad part of them, you copy, you decided to be like this, or you become rebellious and you want to be exactly the opposite as they are. And you judge. You judge what they did. And one day, you're going to be doing the same because you repeat mom and dad. So it's time for us to clean this. And I'm telling you, it's not easy. All of us were humiliated, abandoned, rejected. And it's time for us to look at this in a different interpretation. So I decided to make a list of what my mother and my father did to me. It was difficult, but I found that my mom made some homeworks with me and she cooked. She cooked for me during seven years. That was she could do for me. She loved me. I loved her back. Now, if I start pointing everything she didn't do, everything that she could have done, poderia ter feito, or what I would do, que eu faria, this is no life. And they're the same as my father. My father was a no-miss father because he paid all the bills. He paid all the, the schools and the things we wanted to do. He sent me to the United States for an intercambio, but he wasn't there in presence because he left six o'clock in the morning and arrived 11 o'clock at night. I never saw my father. He lived with us together. So to pay and love because loving for him was paying, he was an obesive father in presence. So there's no right and wrong. I decided to point my father as a good man who worked a lot to pay the bills. He couldn't be next to, far to the sons. He did a decision. He didn't know how to balance this. He didn't have support to do this because he didn't receive from his mother and father. Once my father, as a baby boy, didn't receive this from his mother and father, how can he give this to me and you? Think about your mom as a little girl. She suffered too. She was humiliated too. She was rejected too. She tried to survive. She decided to have different ideas in order to be happy. And we are all trying to be happy here. My question is, how do you run away from life? How do we really run away from the sufferings that we don't want to face? We don't want to see. I don't want to see that I'm jealous. Ciumenta. I don't want to see that I'm envious. Invejosa. I don't want to see that I lie sometimes. Que eu minto. And because I don't want to see this, I run away and start to work in refugees. Thank you.